Off X will be Reisman against Connor Farrell. It's been a struggle this year at the face-off position for Ken as they traded for Kevin Reisman from Whipsnakes after week four. Both of these guys took their licks from Trevor Baptiste in Colorado Springs their last weekend out there. And this battle for the ground ball is Reisman coming up with it and then coughing it up right to Ryan Tarafenko. And after all that, it is chrome ball to start. And you can simply there. Connor Farrell just bulldozing Reisman, but he is called for it. Call a hold, and the ball goes two cannons. Yep. The second on the team in points behind Lyle Thompson is Steven Rafis. Now with 13 goals. Goals come third. Who cashes in? Farrell and Reisman lock up here on the draw. Wings are waiting. And Farrell able to pull it out. A nice little pop right to Tarafenko. That, that time he's able to get, get it past Galloway. Connor Farrell just runs over Reisman but couldn't hang on to it afterwards. But there was Ned Crotty to... That, that time he's able to get, get it past Galloway. Connor Farrell just runs over Reisman, but couldn't hang on to it afterwards. But there was Ned Crotty to... And Reisman nearly gave it right back to Connor Farrell. It's difficult for him, but, you know, he's always going to get opportunity. Four saves so far for Galloway in that first quarter. Six saves for Morocco, who certainly had the ball around his net a little bit more. Reisman won four of the seven face-offs when all was said and done, but this is Connor Farrell making an even split so far. And the one thing about Connor Farrell is even after he wins the ball, sometimes it's not automatic that it stays with Chrome. This is an adventure over near the sideline, and it does go two cannons. At a time. You know, these games are just fights. There you go. All right, all right guys. All right, Paul Rabel, his 15th Cannons uniform, where he played his first seven pro seasons with the Boston Cannons starting in 2000. And chest, somehow the ball s sneaks by. And Garlent comes in to pick up that face off. And for Steven, I mean, these two have a ton of chemistry playing in the indoor league, the NLL together. So you can see that translate from the box out onto the field. Said he was knew he was gonna cut before he cut. Jackson probably knew he was gonna pass it before he made that cut. Stalemate at the face-off strike, pops free. Farrell diving got a piece of the stick of pulver, but pulver juggling it. Then it pulled to Lyle and get out of the way. This will be Chrome Ball after Tosh. And a much better way to go into the dressing room at halftime. Down by two with from Jordan McIntosh with 2.1 seconds remaining. Connor Farrell won six of seven face-offs in that second quarter, despite the fact that his team was outscored five to one. So Farrell at 64% at halftime. It'll be him against Kevin Reisman. Look at this Cannons team who has had so many close calls this season, losing four of this is one of those games for Lyle Thompson. Three points, two goals and an assist, nothing remarkable there. But he's been outstanding. Yeah. Made some hustle plays. Hit, hit one pipe earlier in this quarter. Cannons ball again is Farrell. Shootout for Shane Jackson doesn't bother him. For a guy who spent the first three weeks of this season in the player pool. Picked up by Cannons in time for week four. He's been a regular since then. 14th of the year for Colin Heacock. As that was a face-off win. No Connor Farrell that time available for Chrome. So Reisman made it pretty easy, but then Joel White steals it away. Chrome trying to build big goal gives Cannons a four goal lead here. Four minutes to play in the third quarter. And you see just two goals for Chrome in the last 19 minutes of game action. 
And every time you think they can get some momentum, generate goal, right? And then next thing you know, you got a shot right on the doorstep. Morocco still in cage, four cannons. With a lockup here off the faceoff between Reisman and Farrell. Reisman popped it out, dealing with Joel White. And it was blown down by Matt Palin, the head referee right there. And you can hear the complaint. Take on Atlas in the quarterfinals next week in Salt Lake City. The loser of this game, season ends here tonight. Connor Farrell wins a fair able. He has shown up with his team season on the line as he is yet to play. And it was that game where Chrome was in control and the loss of Hawes real way. Try to get it down to that two point mark. Chrome's had the edge in faceoffs tonight. That's a push. Chrome ball. Can Farrell keep it up at the strike? He's got another one. Using Galloway to avoid the pressure. 